The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the wine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, and you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Talking about the importance of being rooted in the source of our life and the source of love. See, this image, I believe, should speak to us that we live in a very, I would say, temporary culture. Everything we experience or try to do, sometimes it's like a test, just for a moment. No lasting commitment, no pain in it, as if we would get rid of it immediately. And every com everything comes to us at ease, but it's not that. Even to love someone, for us, human beings, means to be rooted in the love itself, the origin of it. There is this beautiful image of baptism, even when we pray the collect, it tells us about the importance of going back to our roots, roots of our faith. Namely, it is about faith, it is about love, and it is about hope. But to remain in Jesus, no matter what, is the only way that we can, as John says, love in deed, not in word or speech. Declarations are of no avail if there are no deeds behind. Same thing with our faith. I might declare that I am a believer but I don't bear fruit in my life. In order to do that, I have to remain in that vital source of our life, which is Jesus. Think for yourself how that looks like in your life. Jesus says that we are already pruned because of the word that he spoke. God the Father spoke his word to humanity. That word has a name. It is Jesus Christ. Does this word abide in me? And I in him? Simply speaking, think of how much time you spent with the word of God every day. Do you let the word read you? Not so much you reading the word, but the word reading you, your life. And then you yourself getting to know what the will of the Father for you is. Think of this. Are we pruned because of that word? Am I familiar with the word of God, which is Jesus himself? Am I rooted in him? Every single day in and out. Only then, only then, and there is a condition, I can love not in word or speech, but in deed. Something concrete can come out of it. I 
can be a source of life as well. But it can only happen if I remain in him. Think of it. When we cut ourselves from the source of life, where does that go? Destruction. This image is quite clear. That branch simply withers and dies. And it will be burned. We don't want that. We want to remain in it. Take the juice out of it as much as we can. And there is plenty of it for everyone. The point is, do I want that? Because sometimes in our lives it's like, you know, no. Thank you, God. I'd rather do it on my own. It's my way or highway. You do it whatever with it with it whatever you want, but let me live my life. And he does. But the result of it sometimes might be very catastrophic. Not only here and now, but in the life to come. Jesus, what he wants from us and for us is simply for the lack of the better word to succeed. Not only to be happy here, but to be happy for eternity. And the only way to realize that, to bring it to fulfillment, is to remain rooted deeply in his love. Prayer life. Very simple thing. Coming to Mass on Sundays regularly. Not, you know, once a month or whatever I feel like. But making a commitment. Sometimes it comes with a very painful choice I have to make. Because I have to resign from certain things. But hey, I'm not going to negotiate my friendship with Jesus over anything and anyone else. Period. This is my conscientious choice. I want to remain in that love and rooted in it till the end of my life. So help me God. And he does. But my will has to be there. My will. He already wills it. Look at the cross. That's the best proof of it. His divine will for us is that we might have life and have it in abundance. What do I do with that? Well, that's a different thing. But I want. I want to remain in you, Lord. Do you want the same?